And let's just start, maybe with you, Rachel. Tell us what, you know, is there more that needs to be done? Are, are there enough signals that say, it's real, we better start thinking about this problem differently? I think we're on an irreversible path at this point. We have a lot of stakeholders coming together and, and really uh, rowing to the same goal here, uh, all coming and looking at what future we want for ourselves and stepping up to the plate. What we need to do is start executing. You know, it's great to put things in writing. It's great to make high level CEO announcements. It's great to make, you know, president, presidential announcements. But we really need to start executing this and we have the support financially and across the different sectors to do this. So I'm really excited to be here talking about the beginnings of that execution through the bipartisan infrastructure law. And we're, we're just ready to get to the implementation stage because we do think that we are on that irreversible path to a future for electrification. You know, let me start with you, Admiral. Uh, as, as you think about um, you know, the U.S. Navy, the priorities, can you talk to us, you know, what do you have going on and why are you doing it? What are, what are some of the goals? What I will start to say is when you think of the Navy, you know, think about ships and submarines and aircraft carriers. And while we're at the sea, our platforms of combat are actually our installations. And we actually, the, between the um, Navy and the Marine Corps, we have over 100 military installations around the globe. And these are our combat power for generating readiness, for building readiness, and to maintain readiness. And our primary focus is all about readiness and lethality. One of the key enablers is energy. Energy to build readiness, okay, so we can preserve our freedom. And so everything that we talk about with electrification, there's a common theme of energy. And so our focus is on reliability, resiliency, and efficiency, things that we've heard throughout the day. And electrification falls into that category. So that is why it is very important for us. We believe in it. So it's something that we take very seriously. It's very important. And it's something that the Department of the Navy is actually committed to. If there's a word today, and I, we heard it over and over in the last panel, and I really mean this, it's really collaboration is what it's going to take because there's all sorts of constituents here. And in the end, we can't lose sight of something. You know, building a net zero future for all that is sort of the headline here, right? It's not about the number of charging units we put out on the highway or throughout America. Ultimately, it's about bringing emissions down. And by having charging units everywhere and auto manufacturers making vehicles, that'll allow demand to start flowing through the system. But if at the same time we're not thinking about not only that rapid expansion in capacity and grid resilience, but also clean generation, 61 for, as of February of this year, just the most recent numbers, 60.8% of electricity in this country is generated by non-renewables and fossil. 20% um, uh, renewables and 20% on uh, nuclear. We've got to deal with that, right? Because otherwise we're not going to achieve much. So it's again, with emphasis, I, I absolutely support Nevi. We're very, very supportive of what's happening. We realize it attacks really key components. And as others have said, you can't attack everything all at once. You certainly can't achieve everything all at once. You have to sort of break it out into bits and pieces. But in the end, in the long run, we really have to solve all of these problems if we're really committed to reducing emissions. And, and we're very, very committed to collaborating and working with utilities and working with government, both state and federal, and the equipment providers, et cetera. And we're going to have to, to collaborate. We've got to figure that out. I'm not exactly sure how we do it, but, uh, but again, I'm happy to be here and have this opportunity to connect with others who are committed to this.